What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video and today we are doing another battle of the releases where we compare the Carter Wise Choice up against the brand new UV button that was released by Ultraview. <music> So in this video, we're gonna be doing a deep dive on both of these releases and we're gonna talk about the level of adjustability, what type of features you can expect if you buy one of these releases. And then at the end of this video, I will let you know which one of these I will be shooting here in the 2022 hunting season. To start, we're gonna begin with the Carter Wise choice, just due to the fact that this is a very simplistic release. Uh, this is a release that I've shot over the past two years and I continuously gravitate towards the Carter Wise choice for a couple reasons. And we're gonna go over that here in the video. Now, as far as adjustability on this release, again, very simplistic in design. Uh, the adjustment screw, you're only gonna have one and that's gonna determine how hot or how cold you want the release. Now, what I really like about that is it is very easy to get this thing dialed in for the way that you like to shoot and your shooting style. Uh, another huge selling point at least for me on this release is the fact that it is a true zero travel thumb button. Now, if you are someone who likes to have travel on your release, you basically can just set this thing to be a little bit colder uh, or, or require more tension to activate it and that will allow you to get deep onto that thumb button without having to worry about prematurely activating the release. Now, as far as the adjustability on the thumb peg, um, this is where this release really lacks. Uh, you do not have the ability to elongate it. Uh, you will be able to rotate that thumb barrel 360 degrees, but again, straight out of the box, it does not have a lot of adjustability. Now, if you want to elongate that that thumb barrel uh, Carter Enterprise does sell an adjusto trigger bar that you can purchase separately. It's like 15 bucks. You buy it directly through Carter Enterprise by calling them. They'll ship it right to your door and that'll give you the ability to extend that thing out a little bit. Now I did purchase the adjusto trigger bar and I added it to the release just to play around with it to see if it was something that I wanted to run. And even with the adjusto trigger bar, it still lacks a lot of adjustability. I do feel like Carter could offer something maybe a a little bit better in the future but for me i just basically run it as stock i just rotated that thumb barrel to get it into the desired position uh, and that's really going to be it as far as uh, the adjustability now when it comes to finger configuration on this release uh, they do not give you the ability to transition from a two finger three finger or four finger they do offer this in a three finger which i have here and then a four finger release if you wanted to purchase a two finger you'd actually have to go and buy the knock to it through john dudley which is essentially the exact same release as a Carter Wise Choice. It just doesn't have that third finger wall. Now, as if I compare that to the UV button, the UV button has a ton of adjustability on this release. Uh, it does have a force screw and a travel screw. So you'll be able to set this thing up to have travel on that thumb peg if that's something that you like. And then you can also determine how hot or how cold you want this release. Now, as I already mentioned, I prefer a zero travel release. And that is one thing that I will give a shout out to UV on is you can truly set this release up to be zero travel. I've played around with other thumb buttons this year that had a four screw and a travel screw and they claim that you can achieve zero travel, but in all reality, you cannot. But like I said, UV did an outstanding job on this. Now, the one thing that I do wanna mention about this release is it does not have a set screw once you find that desired setting. Ultraview is claiming that you will not experience any creep on these settings once you get them dialed in. But when I posted my initial review video there was a gentleman that said he experienced a little bit of creep on that travel setting so that is one thing that you're going to want to pay attention to i personally have not experienced that with the release that they sent me uh, but again that is one thing that i wanted to mention the carter wise choice does have a set screw so again once you get that release set up you can lock that setting down and that's going to ensure that you're not going to have any creep and i have not experienced any creep with this release over the two years that i've owned it now bouncing back over to the uv button 
button and talking about the adjustability on the thumb peg and thumb barrel. Uh, you do have the ability to elongate this thumb peg and then you also have the ability to pivot this to get it into your desired position. And then you will have the ability to rotate this thumb barrel 360 degrees. So again, there is a ton of adjustability straight out of the box. Now what's really nice about the UV button uh, is eventually they will be offering different finger configurations. So if you buy this, come straight out of the box as a three finger, but you will be able to change it from a two finger or a four finger if that's what you prefer. You do not have to buy a completely separate release like you will have to do with the Carter Wise Choice. So next we're going to talk about what type of features you can expect when you buy one of these releases and again we're going to start with the Carter Wise Choice. Now we already mentioned that you're not going to have the ability to switch between a two finger, three finger, or four finger configuration uh, but you also only have one size available on this release. So if you have super small hands or you have really large hands, unfortunately it's basically a one size fits all. Now if you look at the knock to it by John Dudley, he does offer the regular size which matches the Carter Wise Choice body and then he also sells a mini size so if you are a youth shooter or a female shooter and you want to go with the mini version or a smaller version of this release you can check out the knock to it mini uh, and like i said it will be a little bit smaller in size now another feature that I want to talk about is that this release does have a designated lanyard hole and it is provided with a lanyard loop straight out of the box uh, and that is something that I always look for especially in a handheld release that I'm planning on hunting with uh, and then this release also does have a self-closing jaw so once you cock this release you can put it on your D loop you can hang it on that D loop in a in a tree stand or when you're doing a spot and stock and then it's going to be there uh, when you need to make your shot. Now the other thing that I I want to talk about is if you are someone who likes the transition between resistance or hinge style releases and then back to a thumb button uh, in the hunting season carter enterprise does not offer a resistance activated release or a hinge style release that has the exact same chassis as the wise choice now they do offer the carter evolution which is a resistance activated release that is close to the chassis of the wise choice but again it is not identical so if you're transitioning between those two re releases uh, the feel will be different and then also your anchor anchor point will probably change a little bit now if i look at the knock to it and the the lineup by john dudley um, the knock to it and the silverback he did an outstanding job on that those two releases actually share the same chassis and then also the same hook location I have the Silverback, which again is his resistance activated release, and the hook location and feel is very similar to the Carter Wise Choice, aside from the fact that I have a three finger Wise Choice and that, that Silverback is a two finger release. But again, if you went with the knock to it lineup or the, the knock on lineup of those releases, you'll be able to transition between all three and the feel and anchor point is gonna be pretty similar. Again, the Wise Choice unfortunately doesn't have that ability through Carter Enterprise. Now shifting over to the UV button, this thing is packed with features. Uh, it is gonna come with a designated lanyard loop. It is gonna be offered in a medium size, which I have here. They will eventually offer a large size, so if you have bigger hands, you'll be able to get into a bigger bodied release. Uh, and then what's really nice about this is it also has their self-lubricating bushing technology, which heavily reduces the metal on metal contact, making this a very quiet thumb button. The next really big feature of this release is their new contoured button that they provided. Uh, they did oversize this button when compared to uh, the Carter Wise Choice, but what's really unique about it is this new contour groove that they added it's got like a corkscrew twist to it uh, and in my experience this thing bites to your thumb extremely well it's going to prevent any thumb slippage in wet or humid conditions whereas like the texturing on the carter wise choice is pretty standard to what you could expect with most thumb buttons that are available on the market um, i've never experienced any slippage with this release uh, but i do definitely like the texturing on the uv button a lot more i think they did a fantastic job with it now what's really nice is i did take this thumb button off and added it to my carter wise choice it does work if you use the set screw that's provided on the uv button but after i played around with it a little bit 
it just changed the way the whole Carter Wise Choice release felt. So I just went back to the thumb button that was provided, but you do have the ability to purchase these buttons separately and add it to any type of thumb button release that you want. Um, so that's one thing that I wanted to point out. Now with the UV button, um, again, if you are someone that likes to transition between a hinge style release back over to a thumb button release in the hunting season, then this is gonna be a huge selling point for you guys. Um, the UV button and the hinge 2.0 are going to share the exact same feel and hook location so you'll be able to transition between those releases and you're not going to have to worry about your anchor point changing or the feel of the release changing in your hand now the next thing that i want to talk about is just the weight and feel of both of these releases and in my opinion they both feel outstanding in the hand. Uh, the Carter Wise Choice is a little bit wider of a release. It does have an index loop, um, so that's fully enclosed. Doesn't really serve any purpose, but what I really like about this release is my hand placement every time I grab it is very repeatable. Now, uh, the weight on this release, it is an aluminum bodied release, so it is coming in pretty light. It's roughly about 123 grams. Whereas if I compare that to the UV button, uh, this is their stainless steel option. Uh, this thing is coming in at 163 grams so it is a very heavy handheld release but for me i actually really like the weight of this release now if you are someone who prefers a lighter release they do offer an aluminum version uh, but as far as like the the fit and feel of this release they did an outstanding job on this the ergonomics of this release is absolutely outstanding every time i pick this release up it feels amazing in the hand um, i don't get any hot spots when i shoot it and then again i can still get deep on this release as i go through my draw cycle and then when I settle in it just naturally finds those finger pads now let's talk about the price of both of these releases because I know that this is something that some people are struggling on when they're starting to look at the UV button so the Carter wise choice you can pick one of these up at 200 or 220 bucks depending on where you find it online I bought mine brand new off of eBay I think I paid like $200 for this release uh, but the UV button is without a doubt the most expensive thumb button release I've ever owned. Their stainless steel option is coming in at $349 and their aluminum version is coming in at $300. So it is a pretty steep price point for this release. But again, it is packed with a ton of adjustability. It is packed with a ton of baked in features with that self lubricating bushing technology. So there was a lot of thought and a lot of design that went into this. Uh, but again, I mean, it is a very expensive release. I would consider both of these releases very high end, but there are some things about the UV button that kind of sets itself uh, a little bit higher on that scale of quality when compared to the Carter Wise Choice. Now, when it comes to which release am I going to hunt with this year? It boils down to one thing, and I brought this up to Ultra View, um, is it would be nice if they offered a short neck version of this release. The Hinge 2.0 and the UV button have a very long neck on this release, whereas the Carter Wise Choice is a very short neck release. Now, the only issue that I have with that is when I transition over to a UV button, my anchor point is way back on my jawline and I'm basically gonna have to adjust the draw length on my hunting bow. Um, I already shoot a 27 inch draw, so I'd have to go down to a 26 and a half inch draw uh, and that's gonna change my entire setup. I'll have to recite my bow in and unfortunately, the hunting season here in Michigan is only a couple weeks away, so I don't wanna make those changes. So I will be running the Carter Wise Choice again here in the 2022 season, but I am gonna be setting up my VXR, which is my back up bow um, to be able to shoot the UV button and then eventually I will transition over to the UV button permanently and I will be running this release going forward like I said the fit the feel the weight being able to achieve zero travel the thumb button on this release is absolutely outstanding they knocked this thing out of the park and then for me I do want to pick up another hinge 2.0 being that I have this release and I'll be able to transition between the two of those and I'm not going to have to worry about my anchor point or the feel of that release changing in my hand but that's going to be it for this video if you guys have any other questions, you can drop me a comment below. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Your guys' support greatly helps us out. And if you have not checked out michiganambushoutdoors.com, please go over there. We do have some merch available. Your guys' purchases of that merch greatly supports the channel, keeps us doing what we're doing. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you on the next one.